Growing up, my sisters and I were massive Beatrix Potter fans. The character of Peter Rabbit is just in the fabric of growing up in the United Kingdom. He's such a lovable character, which owes everything to the genius of Beatrix Potter, really. The illustrations were so magical. She brought to life characters out of these animals and really just changed so many childhoods with how beautiful her imaginative world was. <gasps> the stories are so timeless and it's nice to escape to that. The film had the blessing of the Beatrix Potter groups. They saw that it was true to the character and the world that Beatrix built. It's our responsibility to keep that protection, that legacy there. This film was able to kind of still really capture, I think, a lot of the essence of the books. We hope that people will see the film, enjoy it, be inspired by seeing Peter, and then want to come see the places that inspired Beatrix over 100 years ago. <laughs> Peter is always going to be a rascal. He's mischievous. Peter Howard, he thinks it's his right to take whatever he wants. Old McGregor disagreed with that. Robert. And uh, my character, Thomas McGregor, uh, also disagrees with that. Peter, are you sure you know what you're doing? Never stopped me before. Hello. The film has all of the characters we know and love, just obviously with a little update. It looks like there's a new owner. This guy, who does he think he is? This is our land. It's time to bring the fight to him. It goes from the garden to the local town in the Lake District, and then they end up on this kind of crazy jaunt in the center of London. It's so funny, but at the core, it is about being there for the people that you love. With the help of his friends, Peter really finds a way to grow up. No, nope, not a chance. I hope that children will fall in love with his character the same way that every young person did in Britain when they were read them by their parents. Come on, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail. I just feel very, very excited and honoured to be part of it.